And now back to more of the all new Full Contact Fishing. Beautiful day in Horn Bay, Lisa. I mean, it's, it's great for me to be home and it's certainly great to be part of this whole event, which I know when we spoke in the weeks and months leading up to this whole thing, uh, you said you didn't want to be talked to on camera, but no. <laughs> how, how is it that you started the, the Kid Sport chapter here? Because uh, when we first talked about mm -hmm. doing something for, for Horn Payne and the mm -hmm. kids and giving them the opportunity through Kid Sport to be involved in sports, uh, I, I think it was you that actually saw the, the, uh, the process somewhere else and, and thought Horn, Horn Payne could use something like that? Yeah, we were on our, uh, a tournament in Hearst and uh, I seen the Kid Sport sign. And it was uh, quite appealing because of the yellow and the black and the little guy running around there. So, yeah, it was like, wow, what's this all about? Because right. we, we know there's a need here. When you get involved, you, you see that. And uh, I just, they were really great over in Hearst, and they welcomed me into the program, and that's where I went to learn about it. Like anything else, uh, nothing's very successful without people that are committed and have hard work. And mm -hmm. uh, you and, and Paul and all your volunteers have done a wonderful thing here, and we at... Uh, you know, full contact are just uh, happy and proud to be part of that. So thanks for having us and thanks for having me back home. And thanks for the moose steak last night. <laughs> You're welcome. I'd like to welcome, and I'd like you to welcome, our special guest tonight, Chris King. First of all, let me say uh, thank you for having us. Uh, some of you opened your doors and obviously uh, made us very, very comfortable and very welcome. Uh, I was last in Horn Bay 16 years ago uh, with, with my older brother and my dad, and uh, that's been a long time. But it all really started. Uh, in a setting like this, it was at the Legion when I was eight years old, Daryl Sittler came to uh, our hockey game. I hope that uh, what I learned from him uh, in those earlier years here in Horn Payne uh, is, is some of the things that I tried to pass on in the years that, that I played and, and continue to uh, do things like this now that I've retired. Uh, it's a great game and it's taught me a lot. It's given me everything that, uh, that I have in my life and it's allowed me to, like I said, be able to maintain friendships and do things that are, are very important to me. And to be able to come back here and, and be part of your special day and, uh, it is something I'm very proud of. And thanks very much for having us. Chris is also a member of the uh, National Hockey League Players Association. The National Hockey League Players Association has a, a segment called the Goals and Dreams. And that group of uh, hockey players donates money to different communities. And with that, they either buy equipment or, or uh, material for um, hockey organizations. And the NHL PA, through their Goals and Dreams Fund, have provided Hornpane Minor Hockey Association with 25 sets of equipment to be used by children in Hornpane to be able to play hockey. Let's give those guys a big round of applause. We've had these gentlemen up in Hornpane. They have signed everything from shoes. Chris even told me he signed a rock today. So there's been all kinds of stuff that they've signed. A big hand for these gentlemen as I present them with a hat signed by our local celebrities. Next week on the all-new Full Contact Fishing, our friends Dolly and Bernard of Salmon Express supply fishing enjoyment to all. From big to small, spring to fall, they cater to one's every needs, whatever those needs might be. I guess even if you don't catch anything, bad day fishing is better than a good day at work. That's what I've been told since I was a kid. Yeah. Once when I was at my um, lake... Uh, what lake is that? The Gogany Lake. Right. I reeled it in. A 26 incher? Uh, 26 incher what? Walleye. I have never caught a 26 inch walleye. Did you? Did it almost pull you in the lake? Uh, no. But uh, I had it on a Barbie fishing rod. A Barbie fishing rod.